Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. If you've been following my channel recently, then you know that I've been working to set up a computer to use with portable operations with my ham radio. I like the Raspberry Pi uh, for its size and its low power draw, but it does have some limitations. One of the things is it's lacking a real-time clock. A real-time clock can become super important when you're working with software like FT8 or FT8 Call. Recently, while I was watching Julian's channel, OH8STN, I noticed that he had a GPS USB dongle. So I sent him a message and he was kind enough to send me a link to the device that he was using. This is a picture of the device here and I'll leave a link for it in the uh, description down below. Uh, it took a little time to get it set up, but once I learned how to do it, it's a pretty straightforward and simple process. So let's jump to it and see if we can't get this thing set up so that it will keep the clock up to date even when we're not connected to a network. Okay, so I've connected to the Pi and we're going to install several pieces of software. I'll leave each of these commands in the description below so you can copy and paste as well. Uh, this one's going to install uh, four or five different programs. So we'll just go ahead and hit return on that command. And I'll be back as soon as this gets finished up. Okay, so now that that's finished up, we need to go in and make an edit to the GPSD config file. So let's clear that screen and let's open nano so that we can edit that file. Okay, so this first statement here should be set to true and also the USB auto should be set to true. Under devices, we need to add our device which is at dev tty a CM0. And then under GPS options, we want to tell it dash in. And that's it. We'll exit and save this file. Okay, so we need to edit one more file. That's the crony.conf file. So we'll go into it, and at the very last line, we are going to add this line of information here. And again, I will leave all of these um, lines of information or code down in the description below. And that's it. So let's exit and save this one. And now we'll need to reboot the system. Okay, so now that the system has rebooted, we need to check a couple of things and make sure that they are active. The first that we're going to check is GPSD. And we'll go ahead and hit the return, and that shows that it's active. And now we can check Crony and make sure it is active. And both are. Also, you can use GPSMON-N to take a look at your GPS data. Looks like everything is installed and working correctly. So now I'm going to disconnect this thing from the network and reboot again. Alright, so it's actually been about 10 minutes since I shut the Pi down, unplugged the network cable, and booted the Pi back up. Um, so it had time, there was a little bit of a gap in there where if the GPS was not connected, the clock would be about 10 minutes off. So what we've done now, uh, something that we set up in the last video was this test box so I could connect directly to the Raspberry Pi's access point. So I'm connected to it now. And if you take a look at the date and time, you'll notice it's showing 4.05. Looking at my system clock here, it matches 4.05 on my computer as well. So I know that it's keeping accurate time and getting that time from the GPS. All right, guys, hope this helped you out in getting your GPS unit set up. It's a really awesome little unit to have, a uh, tiny footprint. Uh, it's no bigger than a normal thumb drive. Uh, plugs right into the back of the Pi and uh, works great. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. 7-3.